somebody order weird? Yes, this is a real product produced by Atlas Railroad Company, the same company that produces trains like this and this. This may seem like a weird product, but let me tell you, this might actually be a very important product for the future of model railroading, and I'm going to tell you why today. First off, let's talk about the product itself. Let's get this out of the way. This is a toy. I'm not going to argue that. This comes in a very simple box with it opening up to a plastic tray with everything on display. In this box, you get a locomotive, two coaches, a dummy locomotive, 12 pieces of curved track, four pieces of straight track, and a handheld battery-powered controller. This train may remind some of my American friends of a specific railroad prototype. This train was originally released as an Amtrak Acela Express set, with this glow-in-the-dark version of the train being a later addition, in my opinion, the more fun version of the two versions they've released so far. Both are still in production simultaneously. Okay, let's get to talking about this little train here. This front power car and the first coach are permanently coupled together with the power car being the train's locomotive and the first coach being the battery compartment. This compartment is held in by two screws under the train and opening it up takes four AA batteries to power this little critter. The locomotive has metal wheels with traction tires on the rear wheels. Only the rear wheels of this locomotive are driven and it was very nice of Atlas to include an extra set of tires in the box. The coaches this train comes with are identical to the one coupled to the locomotive, just minus the battery compartment, of course. These coaches are quite light and they have plastic wheels. The dummy power car is also the same as its powered counterpart. It just has plastic wheels and no motor, of course. The track this set came with is all plastic, and of course, it's glow in the dark, just like the train. Joining the track is easy and I can't imagine anyone would ever struggle putting this set together. Putting the train on the track is just like the regular HO scale trains and quite easy. Just like joining the track, joining the cars is very easy. They join with magnets and the batches are smart magnets that will work either way. Now with this train put together, it's time to get rolling. And that's not possible without this little thing. This is the throttle and it's very simple to understand. I'll let you figure out what these buttons do. This controller takes two AAA batteries that are inserted into the back and there's no on off switch, much like some of those RC cars. So I'd recommend keeping a Phillips head screwdriver on hand to remove the batteries when you're done with it. Operating this train is ridiculously easy. Make sure both the frequency switches on both locomotive and controller are set to the same frequency. Press the on button on the locomotive and you're ready to roll. Simply press the forward button and you're on the move. The train itself doesn't make any noises while moving, but these buttons make their appropriate sounds when pressed. Horn, bell, and the most annoying announcement of all time. Yes, it's really only one announcement, and I've disabled mine on the controller. I had to open it up to get that recording. All sounds come from the train itself and not the controller, unlike some other toy trains. This train also has lights, not just on the front where they normally would be, but also on the bottom under the nose. Things sort of like underglow on a car, but it's only in the front. There's three speed settings, unless you're a weirdo who considers stopped a speed, then there's four. The speed options are almost moving, yeah it's moving, and faster than my J-Class. Using the horns and lights do not actually slow the train down during movement, which is a very welcome touch. The train is incredibly responsive to every controller input, however because it is an infrared controller, the train will not receive a signal if you are out of view, are blocked from view, or in direct sunlight. So turning off the lights, the glow effect is certainly an interesting one that my camera won't do justice. It's not the best glow-in-the-dark effect I've ever seen, but it's certainly not the worst, and turning the locomotive lights on makes the train appear to leave a glowing trail on the track after it passes, which I think is so cool. So this is produced by Atlas Railroad Co. and is claimed to be an HO scale set. It says so on the box. So naturally, I grabbed a coach, and yeah, the coach does fit on this track. Putting the train onto my actual layout and slash test track, and it goes around with no issue whatsoever. But how would it handle a separate train running on the traditional DC power supply? Here's my 10 miller, which is connected to a standard Bachman controller and power pack. Through testing, I never had any issues with either train, which means the glow in the dark train metal wheels are non-conductive. Now, that's on analog. Let's try DCC. So plugging in my DCC system, it both trains ran fine once again, no interruptions for either. So naturally the next thing to do would be take it to my model railroad club.
When putting it on the track, it was pretty clear it was going to be a great talking piece. A lot of people were very excited to see what this little train could do. It ran great, and we handed it off to throttle each other three or four times throughout the night. The train didn't even struggle on the 5% gradient for these two of those little traction tires. We did end up oiling the wheels, which made the train roll significantly better, and it prevented the excessive squeaking noise it used to produce. I highly recommend getting a bottle oh, you know of oil and dropping oil Track. into those axles before any sort of play. So with my glowing, no pun intended, praise for this little train set, let's loop back around to something I said about this being an important product for the future of this hobby. In today's world of super realistic models, there's not much left for the very young audience. Bachman makes some Thomas models, but they're quite expensive. Think about model trains from before the 90s or so, your classic Lionel and your Tycos. These were trains loaded with play value. Some had simpler designs with little bearing on the real world, and they had trains loaded with silly gimmicks that made them both fun and educational while still being an endlessly expandable hobby. This train may be a start to a sort of future incarnation of the sort of train that is meant for play sets that are long gone. The only manufacturer still making any trains with fun action cars as standard anymore is Lionel, and they're still few and far between, and most are in very expensive sets with, with Bluetooth control systems that drive up the cost to what many children and parents looking for a train are willing to pay for a train set. Now, this little Atlas set isn't as cheap as it could be, but as a simple train set for kids, I can see this being a great option for many parents, especially since a lot of us have headaches with our first train set that this set simply wouldn't have because it's, well, battery operated. This set also being HO scale allows it to run on virtually any HO layout without any required setup or complicated DCC systems. It feels quality in the hands and it's got some fun gimmicks and a great design to make operating it quite easy and very fun, exactly as a train for the youngest of the young age group should be. That is not your only option for a more inexpensive kids train either. As mentioned before, there's an Amtrak Acela version of this set, and there's also the Maryland My World series. I can't prove this, but I think that Atlas Train Kids and the Maryland My World series of battery-powered HO trains are related to each other and somehow maybe a sort of collaboration, especially since the two share the same magnet coupling system. I'm not sure if it's a collaboration once again, but I think it's very possible. The Maryland and My World line is an award-winning toy introduced in the early 2010s that essentially takes the HO battery-powered train for kids and expands it out into a full-on model railroad system. It offers plenty of sets of trains from all over Europe, and they wouldn't just sell you an extra locomotive and car like the Atlas Train Kids series, but they'll offer you track packs, extra cars with operating features, re-railers, switches, which is very on brand for Maryland as they pioneered the toy train system idea all the way back in the 1800s and even defined the first ever standard train gauges. The My World system has been going over for a decade at this point and I don't see it stopping at any time soon. It seems to be the perfect combination of classic Tyco and Lionel play value focused cars with the battery operated and simplicity of use of the Atlas Train Kit series. To a model railroader like me, these definitely seem like silly products that aren't gonna get a lot of value. But as I've said before, these are necessary products to help keep our hobby alive. They may not be the fun electric trains we had back during the peak Lionel post-war years and the Tyco era, but it's a start. And it may help jumpstart some kids under the age of five or six onto a long path into becoming real model railroaders. Both the Atlas Train Kids and the American My World product are built tough for small hands and rough play. They emphasize a quality product on a tight budget. Next time you may be shopping for a motorized train set for a young child, maybe skip the traditional battery operated train sets and opt in for one of the American My Worlds or the Atlas Train Kids sets. It may be the spark to get the engine started and kickstart the hobby of a lifetime.